All right, so basically, we're talking about U.S. Treasury bills and quoted rates, right? So what is the formula for the quoted rate of a U.S. Treasury bill? It is 360 divided by number of years, it matures times maturity price, right? minus purchase price over maturity price, right? So these are the same equal uh, variables. Now, they give us 180 days of maturity. So 180 here times, uh, they decide to purchase it for 95K, right? And then, matures in 100k right so given all this information let's solve for the quarter rate right it's going to be a hundred thousand minus ninety five thousand divided by a hundred thousand right times 360 divided by 180 and it's going to be point one right so point one is going to be the quoted rate but now they also have J that we need to find, right? So J will be the annual effective yield of the U.S. Treasury bill, assuming a 365 day year. Okay, so what does that exactly mean? Well, let's okay, so now, it says, okay, so basically what they mean by this is that since Jenna decides to purchase $95,000, it's going to mature. It says that the treasury bill is going to mature in 180 days for $100,000. And that the J annual effective yield is assuming a 365 day year, right? So that means that we want to uh, illustrate this growth in terms of an, uh, annual effective yield J, right? So we're gonna take the initial of what she purchased it for, and we're gonna multiply it by the J effective based on 180 days, assuming a 365 day year, right? Then we're gonna set it equal to 100,000 because that's the price in which it matures in. Now I'm gonna do a hundred. I'm gonna find J. I'm gonna do hundred K divided by ninety five K and get one point zero five two six three. And I'm gonna move this exponent over so I can do to the power of three sixty five divided by one eighty. And then I'm gonna subtract one, and I'm gonna find out that J is uh, ten point one zero ninety six, right? And then once I do that, I find I finally figure out what J is, and I'm gonna subtract it from the quarter rate that I found here. Minus point one. And then I'm gonna end up getting point zero zero nine six, which will end up being point ninety six.